Hi friends from all over the world. We're here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. It's a little bit noisy because we are under the bridge. I think we're live now. Hi Eugene, good to see you from Penang. Hope you're doing great. Basically, uh, today I want to give you guys an update on what's happening with the tiny home construction site. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in between. The good news is the floor is already done. The floor is already high. Yes, good to see you and nice to have your greetings, Eugene. The floor, you can see it down here. Uh, the bottom side has already been completed. The, we are basically using a steel frame that is made from recycled steel as a way to actually reduce the carbon footprint and have a lightweight structure. Down here, this is the wall material that will go up to basically insulate the walls and to provide a lightweight material. Datugaziz? Yes, Matthias. Yes, How this is you? this is Datugaziz. He is providing the wall material, the Dura light. Maybe we should walk over yeah, and have oh, a look yeah. at your material. We'll walk over now and show you the actual Dura light material. It's wood wool cement that is lightweight and insulated. Here we go. Here it is. Let's get a good good view. Yes. Maybe you can explain briefly, Datukazis, what the material is. Yes, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Dura light stands for durable and lightweight material. And this is not new. This has been in Europe for more than 60 years. It has been used extensively in Europe as an insulation material. But the, other than thermal insulation, most important quality is that it's also a sound insulation. So if you build a hotel, the, the noise will not travel from one room to the other. If you have a, people playing karaoke, you can still sleep comfortably in your room. That is the advantage. This, this more important, it is also lightweight. When it is lightweight, the cost for the foundation and structure can be reduced. These are these are the main yes. elements. So we will save money. We will actually keep the heat outside, so no need for aircon. We will have a lightweight structure, and at the same time, okay. we will have noise insulation. Yes. I see that the connection is not so good. I hope you guys can still see us and hear us. Is it still okay? So this is the Green Man Tiny Home wall system. Let me walk over here. Uh, let's have a quick chat here with uh, Paul. Paul, you're just explaining uh, some of the features. Uh, I think we're against the light here, so we can't see you very well. Let's turn around, maybe here. So Paul, yeah, you've just been explaining some of the technical aspects. Uh, what is this? Okay, this is a steel frame that we're going to use. This is going to support the Duralight panels, the interior walls and the exterior walls. So at the moment we're just discussing with the contractor the spacing and the structural stability of the wall. So hopefully we can sort that out in the next five minutes and continue with the construction. Excellent. And we have the uh, wonderful supplier and sponsor here as well, Jiprock, a part of Saint-Gobain, Sorida, right? Yeah. Yes, hi, hi. Thanks hi. so much for your support. Sure. This is recycled material, right? Of course, yes. Uh, so we have three different components here. Our bots, top line and aqualine, both are made from gypsum uh, material. And those are natural gypsum from recycled materials. And these bots can be recyclable too after this. Yeah. Great, so excellent. We have the steel frame and the boards here and uh, made from recycled materials and eco-friendly low carbon footprint construction, lightweight construction. That way we are avoiding too much cost for the structure and we are at the same time keeping the home insulated and uh, cool inside. Paul, you showed me as well something very interesting here. Let's show this to our friends. Uh, you made this at home? No, I actually made it here yesterday. Yeah, yeah. What is this? This is actually the air diffuser, which sits in the floor. So this allows the air to circulate from underneath. 
rise into the space and then we have another air conditioning unit, natural air conditioning unit on the roof which allows the air to escape. So this is the air circulation, the air inlet at the bottom of the... My, my friends uh, who run Juiceria will be very happy that we are recycling their uh, plastic bottles for our green man tiny home. That is the philosophy as well. We want to maximize the use of recycled, upcycled materials. So turn a simple plastic bottle into uh, uh, an air inlet for the home. We're also, because basically this is the part that you will see, sat in the floor, inside here is a cotton gauze, which we will coat with orange oil. Wow. which is a natural pesticide. Wow. So using orange oil, we will actually stop any termites, any ants, etc., from making their way into the, um, the tiny home and climbing inside your ears. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Beautiful natural materials and uh, even for the termite prevention, this is the philosophy. Now, here the action is continuing uh, at the home this is how the wall will look like this is how the wall will look like here when it all goes up we'll provide you with more updates later so uh, thanks for joining guys and uh, we will keep you informed